<laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> so I don't know if this uh, thing is going to work, but um, I had to turn one of my lights off so that there wasn't like a huge glare. But anyways, I want to try turning that light back on and see if uh, it's it would work. But I know it gives a horrible glare. Hi, Laura. <laughs> you weren't taking a nap, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I was wondering what the heck. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> you guys came back. You came back to me. Oh, man. I went shopping today. I did. I did go shopping. Hi, Kathleen. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically drinking coffee all the time. I have to shut the door. Hang on a sec. I got my leaves from Rosemary. I know, probably. Probably, Laura. It's just throwing you off your game, huh? So, yeah, I got my, uh, my leaves from Rosemary. Um, she said that she had some sweet gum leaves that she would send me and it looks like she said there's some from last fall in here so that's cool I don't even I've never even seen a sweet gum ever before in my life or maybe I did when I was in Oklahoma I don't know but we don't have those here so so she sent me some because she said that they give really good results um, for eco dyeing. So, um, yeah. So she sent me some, some leaves. Hello, Skylar. <laughs> Jessica Rat. Yep, that's me. You know, I don't know because there's some other leaves in here too. I think these are. Um, these look like hydrangea or something. This looks like what's in this bag that's dried from last fall. So, um, I don't know. It, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> these are fresh leaves, so that's cool. But I think these are hydrangea. That must be gigantic hydrangea, these ones. And then um, these must be the sweet gum that she sent. And then there's this other one. I don't know what this is. But, um, yeah. So something else. So I have to ask her what that is. But, um, yeah, so I got my leaves and it was surprised me because that was really fast, you know, to come from all the way from Arkansas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was just like the day before yesterday that we talked about it. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, so yeah, I, well, okay. So let me. I want to turn this other light on and I want you guys to tell me if it's like completely obnoxious. Okay. Yeah, I know that's bad, but what if I put something there, like something not glary, like, I don't know, like a piece of paper or something. If it's sweet gum, you can chew it. I know, huh? <laughs> I know, huh? 
<laughs> um, hang on just a second. So yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby and got some cool stuff. Got some cool stuff. Um, I don't remember exactly why I went to Hobby Lobby. Oh, I do remember because I needed jump rings <laughs> and all their metal stuff was, you know, half price. So not all their metal stuff, but a lot of their metal stuff was half price. <laughs> Hi, Josie. How you doing? Hi, Sherry. <laughs> oh, man. I'm tired. I haven't been to bed. I have not been to bed. So, so yeah, I'm just sucking on coffee. Um, found a 1961 penny that could possibly cost up to 75 bucks. Are you freaking kidding? <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know. Um, something like that is only worth whatever someone's actually willing to pay for it. That's the way I feel about it. So, yeah, is that just terrible if I take that away? Hi, Christina. <laughs> if I move that, is it really bad? Well, anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I got because... Because I want to get into it. So I decided that I wanted to look at their trim. It's better with the paper. Okay. Well, if I leave this here, then I will leave something there. If not, then I'll move it. But I wanted to kind of play with some paint. So, um, yeah. So you guys want to see what I got? So... Well, I'm going to show you anyways. So anyways, they have this, they have this trim, you know, it's like upholstery. Um, <laughs> hi, Aura. Thank you for saying hello. I appreciate it. <laughs> I really do. Um, anyway, so this is with all their trims were 30% off. Well, all their fabrics, 30% off fabric and trims. So anyways, I thought this was kind of cool and I thought it would be neat to use. It was only $4.99 a yard and, um, yeah. So, I mean, it's cool. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's soft and kind of silky and it's got a lot of ribbon in it and I don't know. It's just neat. And I thought, you know, it'd be cool as trim on a, um, uh, on a journal, but I also thought, somehow I could make tassels with it, you know, like I could just make little tassels with this. So anyways, so I got a yard and a half of that one and you know, they're all these kind of colors, you know what I mean? It's not, um, they didn't have any like super crazy like amazing colors like, <laughs> like I would like, but so this one's kind of like a bronze, I guess, like a bronzy type of color. This one's got like a kind of a sage green type of thing going on and beige. Um, but you know, I was thinking that it might be kind of fun to try to dye that. Um, and then I got this one, this one's kind of like gold and black. So these cost me like five bucks, you know, something like that. Cause I got a yard and a half. So with the 30% off, I figured I'll get an extra half a yard and tons of like stuff that I can just pick up off the floor all the time. And then, um, I got this pom pom cause I just thought it was super cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. People are coming. People are showing up. Hi Malia. <laughs> I know it's I know. I like that fringy stuff too. I can't remember what it's called, but, um, Hey Jude, how's it going? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the thumbs up. I really do. Um, so yeah, I got some pom pom. This was the most expensive thing 
um, you know, of as far as trims. So yeah, see it's shedding already, and, and I don't want to throw that stuff away, but I have to because there's just a ton of it. Anyways, and then I got some of these. These are like a dollar twenty nine a yard, you know, and thirty percent off. So it was like I don't know. I wanted to buy like ten yards, but I didn't. I got a yard and a half of each of these. Some of them were like a dollar ninety nine. Um, hi, Kate. <laughs> How's it going? So I like this one, you know, the, so, okay. So then I was thinking that these colors that, that all this stuff is, is in, um, I'm thinking that it might work with my eco dyed stuff. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so I have some ideas going through my head. And also with the Cantha, the Cantha fabric that I just got. I don't know. I just got, I'm getting some inspiration, you know. So, and I really like this one. I like it. I like it. It has some orange in it. And then this one. So, yeah, I got a yard and a half of each one of these. Put them in my stash, you know. So I was actually shopping for camping, and um, it uh, turned into a Hobby Lobby trip too. So then I got, I think I got five yards of this because um, I want to make some like. Um, maybe some bags, like some just like shoulder bags with the cantha fabric. And, um, I thought that would be kind of cool to use as handles. Oh, and then I got this one, this, um, you know what I'm saying? I know, <laughs> I know Brooke, you have to have trims for, for glamping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, I like the tassel one too. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. I got sidetracked, but I did need, I did honestly need um, jump rings. <laughs> and then I got five yards of this one too. So, <laughs> and these are just like cotton, you know. Anyway, <laughs> okay, and then, and then... Um, this was $5 a yard. So this is kind of like a, uh, upholstery fabric. It's like a cotton kind of heavy cotton duck fabric kind of thing. You know, I know <laughs> I'm the lantern with pretty trim, but isn't this pretty? I love this. I just think it's so cool. I know <laughs> I'm going to decorate the tent. So I'm actually going to sleep in my car, which is what I love to do because <clears throat> my car is super comfortable and, um, it, you know, it's plenty long enough. I put the seats down in the back and, um, anyway, so <laughs> it's comfortable. <laughs> I know. Anyway, so I thought this was kind of neat and pretty. And then I was standing there and she was cutting all these trims for me and I kept eyeing this fabric and I just couldn't, I couldn't not get some of it because it's just, it's cool. It's cameras. <laughs> so I thought this would be kind of cool to use on some journal covers maybe. All right. I think I only got a half a yard of that. And then, oh my God, I got this. Okay. This is gauze. Okay. This is gauze fabric. And I got this to make my baby a blankie. I'm just going to make a really simple, quick little, um, kind of like summery blanket for Declan for my grandson. So, and I got it because he's a sweet little lamb. And I always tell him that he's a tired little lamb. I always go, are you a tired little lamb? Anyways, 
it's really cute and super soft. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's the fabric department. I know, isn't this pretty? I think this is really pretty. Um, I would like to maybe um, fussy cut some of these out and then um, applique them onto some journals maybe. Kind of like stuff them, you know. And Anyway. So let me shove all those back in here. And then I'll show you what I got from the rest of the store. <laughs> hey, at least I give you bags to put stuff in um, at Hobby Lobby. I never buy fabric there. But you know what? I'm buying fabric at Hobby Lobby from now on. I'm not buying fabric at, at Joann's anymore. <clears throat> Wednesday live stream? Right, right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday live stream. Oh, I thought you said when's your live stream. <laughs> I was like, uh, now? <laughs> Dingling. Okay. Wait a second. Um, okay, who's talking? People are talking. Oh, thanks, Josie. Yeah, you know what? He's just the sweetest little boy. I mean, seriously. I just... I know. Thank you. So not you, Sam. <laughs> Well, you're sweet, but, you know, anyways, <laughs> oh. dining while watching exciting hauls. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bootsy. Um, oh, your aunt's a photographer right on. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't not get that fabric. I just had to do it. So you guys say hi to James. Hi. <laughs> this, uh, is, this is my granddaughter. This is my granddaughter. It's very weird to be somebody else's video because, like, it's very weird. It's like, it's like not my channel. It's like somebody else's, and it's like weird to say hi because, like, so weird. It's like because it's like not yeah, your channel. Yeah, it's just so weird. <laughs> oh my goodness! So what have you been doing, James? I'm just been playing swimming with Aaliyah and Sammy. Oh, you did. Uh -huh. You got you got to swim. With it's with good. Aaliyah? Yep. <laughs> oh, they want to see your nails, honey. Oh, but your she doesn't have her nails done today. No. But I will pretty soon. I promise. Yeah, she'll she'll get <laughs> she'll get them. Oh, did they all come off? Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause like it came off, and when you're out of blue, you know. Like, mm, like, yeah. Well, you know, I, I always. Off Cause I never heard. It. I always have nail glue, you know. You do? Yeah. We'll we'll do some acrylics one day. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I um <laughs> yes, she is extremely adorable. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she thinks so too. <laughs> um yeah, so I'm just showing all these folks all the stuff I got today. So, I needed bags and you can't ever have enough Ziploc bags. bags. <laughs> And I needed some brushes that I could just beat up, you know. And um, so remember these from using um, rubber cement? Remember these? Yeah. So I got a bunch of these because, well, they were three ninety nine, and it was the only thing I that's, bought that that's was. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. It was the only thing I bought that was actually like regular price, so I could use my little coupon on it. And then I got these reinforcements. They're like metallic colors. And let's see. I'm saving the best part for last, you guys, because I'm hoping that we can get into that today. I don't know what the best part is. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So jump rings, jump rings, and all of their, all of their, um, jewelry shop stuff that's half price. So, let's see, clasps. Yeah, because I'm definitely making more, um, paperclip beads. I have to make more paperclip beads, and I'm actually thinking about Mommy, maybe, honey, you can't interrupt me when I'm talking. Um, I'm thinking about maybe offering some paperclip beads, uh, in my shop. So, yeah, so I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to put a little clasp on them so that, you know, you could put them on whatever you want. Um, and then some large jump rings, too. So that's 
that's what I actually went to Hobby Lobby for. What are you guys talking about? Fire Island. The day on Fire Island, New York with your Oh, right on. Right on. So then all of the... Oh, more jump rings. You know, it's like they have one package of each size. And it was really irritating because I would have bought like 14 packages of every size if they would have had them, but they didn't. Um, okay, and safety pins. These were half price because I'm going to rust them. And also I'm thinking about patinaing them. So all of the vintage stuff is half price. And, um, yeah, including these patinas. So, um, yeah, go pick some up because they're $12.99 and I've never used them before. I, I never have, but I have all of these like, um, filigree, different filigree pieces that I think it would be really fun to kind of play with those. You know what I mean? And, um, anyway, so these are like $12.99 a package. And as I was looking at them, I was, I didn't, I knew all the vintage, vintage stuff was half price, but I didn't realize that these were vintage. So vintage, vintage, whatever. And, um, and then I saw the little label right there and I went, Ooh, these are half price. So anyway, so I was trying to just pick out one and then I couldn't. And so then I saw the that they were half price. And so then I was like, Oh my God. Okay. I just got all of them. So I got the black, um, they call it onyx, but so I thought I would do like a base coat with that maybe on some of them. And then there's a couple, uh, like metallic ones, a rose gold and a white gold. And then this one. So it gives you just all that kind of rusty looking stuff. I don't know. I've never done it before, so it might be kind of fun. And then this is the sealer that goes that goes on it after you're all done. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do some um, safety pins and maybe some paper clips and maybe some clasps and maybe, you know, some of those filigree pieces and stuff. Anyway, so that's kind of what I want to do. And I was hoping maybe you guys could help me. But I want to show you what else I got because I... One of my favorite thrift stores called to me um, as I was driving back down Division. So I had to go to my second favorite thrift store. And it's a good thing I did because I got books. You guys want to see the books I got? The dog. I know. <laughs> I know. I could, I could paint the dog. Okay, let me put the paper back on there there. Is that better? Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the books I got because I just have to. So this is, um, so all of their books were 49 cents. Yeah. All their books are 49 cents on Wednesdays. And this is at the, um, um, it's the global thrift, global thrift. And they benefit like, um, global charities. So like water for people and places like that, you know, I know Chihuahua Patina, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, so success with houseplants, it's like a binder and look at, look at, I mean, come on. And my son was already trying to talk me out of this one. No way. I said, no freaking way, dude. So I gave him another book that I had on houseplants, but I can't find the um, aquarium no plant one. Way, no freaking way. Anyways, but they're not all house plants. Um, but yeah, hey, this could be fun for fussy cutting or whatever. You know? Are you guys leaving? Well, James, you gotta say goodbye to everybody. So come say goodbye. Bye, Bye honey. Don't be so sad. It's okay. You can come back on You're Friday gonna too. come back. Well, we're leaving early on Friday morning, but, um, but Hey, we'll be back on Monday. We'll be back on Monday. What's the matter?
I love you. <laughs> okay. So everybody's saying goodbye, James. Bye. <laughs> she, aw. Yeah, and you got kisses and everything. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. See you next time. Put your hand in there so they can see it. Bye. Say bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> okay, and next time bye -bye. um love you. I won't be streaming when I see you. I love you. See you later. Okay, you guys be good. We will. Okay. Okay. How long are you streaming for? Uh for a couple hours. So, yeah, the night before Christmas. And I'm thinking about I've never done Christmas journals. Bye guys. Hold up. Is this it right here? Oh, never mind. I got it with the water last one. I got this because look at the I love the, the Bye, huge boy. text. Bye you guys. I love you. Bye. Will you shut that door, please? Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, oh, and no and the images and all that. Yeah, get those dogs out of here. Oh my gosh, it's complete Lucy. insanity at my house right now. Come on, Lucy. What are you doing, you freaking sloth? Lucy, come on. Go. Oh my god. Sorry about that, you guys. I was like super, super distracted. Okay, I did not know James was going to come and hang out here with me. I was very, very distracted. But anyway, so I got this one. Um, just has really cool images, and I love the the text. So I thought this would be um, very useful for Christmas. Uh, I'm thinking, what I'm actually thinking about doing, um, maybe in October, is doing, um, <laughs> I know, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, right? Um, I'm thinking about doing some Christmas junk folios. So not necessarily making um, Christmas junk journals, but doing some collections of Christmas ephemera and stuff like that. Kind of like I did the other folios and um, like a faux flow type of thing. And But do it like Christmas, you know. I got a ton of books, you guys. A ton, a ton, a ton. What's up? Okay. One second. Hmm. I have to, I just have to be prepared so that we have a project that we can do together. You know what I mean? But yeah, absolutely. I want you to. We have to plan it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We'll plan it for like a Sunday. For like on a Sunday. So or Or on a Wednesday. But we'll oh, talk about it. And I, no, no, no. Like maybe next week. Because I'm going to be gone. There. Okay. Okay. We'll yeah, I know. I am too. But we can plan week. it. And you got to get, you got to get that app installed on your phone so you can text me. Okay. Okay. Don't let your dad forget. Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts. Okay. Bye, okay. Hangouts. Bye, honey. I love you. Be good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anywho, so yeah. Um, so this is a uh, Britannica book of the year 1945. So I think it's just like basically all about 1945. Anyways, but I like the text. It's got some cool like diagrams and alcoholic intoxic intoxication aliens. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> See, alcoholic intoxication aliens. She is a firecracker. Yes. She wants to live stream with me really, really bad. Um, she actually wants to have her own YouTube channel, but her mom and dad are not real into her doing that because they were going to let her do it, but then she started kind of like stressing out about, um, hi, Jennifer. <laughs> I like drunk aliens too. Um, <laughs> But she started like already kind of stressing out about how many subscribers she was going to have and that kind of stuff. Like she's seven years old. So, and she does her mom's makeup and stuff. And she does like, you've heard her, you hear her talking. I mean, she's just like, I don't know. She's incredible. But um, anyway, so I got this teddy bear book and all I had to do was go like this and like 
I knew I wanted it. This is the second teddy bear book that I've picked up in the last couple months, but it just has really, really cool uh, images, you know. So I got this teddy bear book and then the living world of Audubon. So of course, you know, this has amazing pictures in it. Um, you know, this is like fussy cutting um, fantasy right here, right? Yeah, so tons of really, really nice illustrations. Audubon always has really nice, um, you know, pictures. So even the photography is really cool. But lots of really nice paintings and that kind of stuff. I love these owls. <laughs> um, so yeah, this book is going to get disassembled quickly. 49 cents. Right? Oh, and this one, I really thought... I thought twice about getting it, but then on my way home, and then I thought, no, I'm just going to get it because, um, what I was thinking, see these, I don't know. Like I have another one of these that I've used, um, a couple of the pages in one of my five ring binder journals. And, um, I just like stitched it on. There was a, it was a smaller one, but I thought, I could probably peel this and like just get that top layer off. You know what I mean? Um, so I could just use just that thin layer uh, with the image on there. Anyways, so this is just a photo album. But I also like the um, the paper, the like onion skin paper that's in it. So yeah, and it has like the um, botanical, like the Latin name for, for all the flowers in it. So yeah, but yes, the tissue tissue. It, I think it's onion skin too. Um, anyways, so if nothing else, who knows, I can make this into a journal. I need more books, right? Oh my gosh. So then I got a couple of these, um, look at, look at the old paper clips. Look, look at the old, authentic old paper clips. So speed writing, it's a shorthand book. Love it. I love the text. Um, not just the shorthand, but the, the regular like text in the book is awesome. I love this. I know the coloring on the tissue is awesome. And this isn't even that old. I think it must have been like, I don't know. People say, well, that was a smoker's house or something, you know, which that could be true. I don't know. But, uh, or else it was just in the heat, like the hot sun could do that. So, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> um, okay, so I got a couple of these. Um, shorthand books. Um, there's actually some notes in this one from the like person, whoever this book belonged to. Anyway, so two of those, and I thought these would actually make really cute little journal covers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or cheap paper. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is from, um, somebody in Spokane actually. There was another one I should have got it. It was the dictation one. So this is from 1954. It's the last publication on this one. And then the old man in the sea. Oh, okay. I got this just because, you know, it's Hemingway. It's the old man in the sea. And, you know, I couldn't pass it up. So just for the book paper, mainly. And I thought, you know, I could, I could pull out little pieces of text and, um, use those on my, on my, um, on my tags and stuff that I'm working on and look at library card. <laughs> We're so funny, huh? We get all excited about a library card. And I actually have this set of golden, golden book, uh, dictionaries, but, um, Hey, 
49 cents, I'll take another one. Um, I've been cutting out the, um, this is such nice paper in these books. I know I'm running short of old book paper. I know exactly. D have I ever took a pic taken a picture of my book like section and my studio? It's crazy anyways, but I like this, this particular, uh, one because it has all the trees in it and it just, it has a lot of really cool images in it. So anyways, Got that one. And then the Century Book of Facts. <laughs> I didn't even look at this before I decided I wanted it. That says 1901 right there. Look at this is from um, Hat Springs, Arkansas, October 88. Purchased at a flea market in Hot Springs, Arkansas, October 88. Alan Peterson. Yeah, 1901. Well, that makes sense. So it's just facts about the previous century. I might not tear this book up. This is actually kind of a cool book. Anyway, it's, you know, it's that really nice, well, and since we'll be doing that, let's go see the chat. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, oh my God. I can't do that right now. You guys, my webcam is like attached to the ceiling and I don't have any way of like walking around with it. So if I did that, I'd have to do it from my phone. And the last time I did it, it like, I don't know, like the connection was bad or something. I don't know. Okay, hang on. I'll show you. See? So this book was <laughs> was in Arkansas. <laughs> hmm. I'll do it. I don't even care, you guys. But um, don't wait. Are you calling me out? You calling me out? <clears throat> I ain't scared. Anyways, I like this book. And then there's a few more. A few more. <laughs> okay, so this one was super cool. Um, I don't even know what this is all about. But, um, 1925... The Goblins of Haubeck. Does anybody know about this book? <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, anyways, I like this book for the pictures. Look at the tape. <gasps> We're just a bunch of weirdos. We get off on like old scotch tape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, it's a really thick book paper, right? Like, um, I mean, it's like, it's like cardstock, you know? Um, yeah, really heavy book paper. So yeah, so this is going to be fun to disassemble. And I had to get a couple of, um, I had to get a couple more Reader's Digest. I just sold a Reader's Digest journal. Um, that's this exact book. And it's really funny because, um, somebody was not very happy that I sold it. <laughs> so now I have another purple one. So, um, maybe that person will be happy again if I make it into a journal for her. Um, anyways, and I like this one too. They had about 10 of them, but I still have a whole bunch of them. So I didn't want to get too many readers digest anyways. And I don't know what this is, but it's in Italian. Okay. Yeah. It's in Italian copyright 1954. And 
it has some interesting stuff in it. It has this map, which I thought was pretty neat. Austria. Oh, maybe it's German. Oh, no. Italy. Oh, why did I say Austria? Because Austria is up there. Duh. Okay, so it's Italy. Yeah, it's in Italian. I'm kind of a blonde sometimes, you guys. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's definitely Italian. So yeah, I don't know what this book is all about, but um, if anybody speaks Italian and you know what this book is all about, let me know. I guess I could type it into Google and, and figure it out, but, um, but hey, you know, couldn't pass this up for 49 cents and it's some old Italian book. And then these are in German, both of these. Um, Heinrich Hein, does anybody know who that is? I don't know who that is, but um, it's that really cool um, font. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jamie, this book, it does. It, it does have that kind of shiny um, texture. And the pages are super thin. And it's very, um, you know, aged, aged around the edges. So I like how it gives all these, um, like, definitions of the words and stuff. Like, you know, what do they call that? Footnotes? But... Yeah, I like that book. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Obviously, I'm going to tear it up, though, right? So, but yeah, look, at it's all that really cool German font. <laughs> oh, hi, Lolly. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Your stuff is on the way, just so you know. Um... <laughs> I hope you like the I hope you like the paper clips. They're pretty cool. The Italian book Letter from Strangers. That's what it says. What La Tour Italian per Stranieri. Oh, did you <laughs> did you Google it? Or do you speak Italian, Josie? I know. It's kinda of, it's so Lolly, just so you know. Um, I, <laughs> yesterday, or when did I live stream? I live streamed late night, like last night, early this morning. And I think I mentioned it then, but, um, so my son is my shipping manager. <laughs> I hired him to be my shipping manager. So I just want you to know that <laughs> when you get your package, um, if it looks like it, it was, it was wrapped by a 17 year old boy. Um, it was but <laughs> he's learning. It should be fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. And I was right there with him, but, um, I'm trying to teach him how to, how to do it right. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Hang on a second. Who's our firstie? <laughs> well, Cheryl, hold on a second. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Brooks got Brooks got it going on today for some reason, <laughs> and I haven't slept. So yeah. Anyway, so then there's an Ernest Hemingway. So another. Wait, what was that other one that I got? Wasn't that Hemingway too? Anyway, so not too bad, huh? I spent twelve dollars at the thrift store on books. And I oh, and I got a little rag rug too. I'm a sucker for rugs, for like throw rugs, because I have all, um, all of our floor is either tile or laminate. So these floors get cold in the winter. Anyway, so yeah, you guys want to help me with that? With those, um, let's open these. Wait, let me put these away. So these will go in my little, um,
my little jump ring organizer. Yeah, so they, they'll have their own spot in there, but they'll just put them in the drawer for now. And I thought these would be good glue brushes, too. Just saying. All right. Hmm? Yeah, salty. That's a good description. So I'll save this. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is the glaze. It says it's fast drying, so that's good. I have a feeling this is really messy. <laughs> oh, is she messaging you, Brooke? <laughs> oh, boy. I know. Oh, poor James. I feel bad for her. She really wanted to live stream with me. But I need to have some kind of project set up to do with her to do that, you know? I was thinking that we could just make a little book, you know? Just make a little journal. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just my style. All right, come on. So I think I got like all of the ones that I got like one set of all the ones that they had. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have a feeling that they're kind of set up so that like the colors sort of work together, you know, like, like these colors are what you would potentially see on a certain type of metal that was aged, you know? Yes. Drunken alien dorks. As long as it's not drunken alien boobs, we're fine. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody's hitting the wine tonight. I can tell. Okay. So yeah, you know what I'm saying though? I, it's almost like, um, so I just want to try these just on paper, maybe just to kind of see what they do. Cause I'm a little nervous. Wait, let me get another piece of paper, something else to try it on. Okay. Oh yeah. You're supposed to shake them. Ugh. Yes. Oops. Oh, it's just got that little teeny tiny, um, need water. <coughs> oh, wait, are these water based? They better be. This one was using paintbrush clean, brush mainly after use. Yes, with water. Okay. So let's see. Don't want to use a ton of each one because, you know, you need to die cut a pop can. Oh, yeah. I know. I have some stuff that I want to try this on. And, um, of course, this one's clogged up. Yeah, I don't know if I want to die cut a pop can right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. If I wouldn't have got it for half price. No, it actually wasn't really clogged up. It was fine. I kind of have a feeling these are like alcohol ink based kind of, I don't know, apply in small amounts with a paintbrush 
layer with other colors for optimum patina effect. So just want to see what the colors look like together, you know? And I wonder, I wonder Yeah, this definitely is going to take some skill, but I'm working on like, okay, let's just grab one of those things. Let's just see what happens. Where's the filigree? Let's see. I want to try putting that black under it first. That's what I really want to do, and I can hardly see because you guys won't let me turn the light on. Try with a sponge. Well, why does it say to do it with a brush? Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, so that's the black. I know I probably, a sponge probably would be good. Or a different kind of brush, huh? Yeah, more of like a, a tamping kind of thing, huh? I'm not an artist, you guys. Like a brush like this, but let's see. I wonder if I should dry it in between, in between coats, you know? Jeez, how brave am I just trying this crap on live TV? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh. Yeah, dry it? Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to put... Oh, yeah, you know, I think that, yeah, these do dry pretty quick. Hmm. All right, I'll dry it. Crap, my sewing machine still turned off. Oh yeah, that that stuff dries pretty darn fast. Okay, hang on. Hold the phone. think that like wiping it back too, you know, <clears throat> you like my new storage containers? I like them too. These things are awesome from uh, Walmart. 75 cents guys. Yeah, I got a crap load of them. Did I just see Carla? Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, I don't know if I like it on the black, but I like it on just the base metal. So, see. I mean, it's okay. It's it's kind of weird, but 
Um, it does dry really fast, but I actually like it better on this. Know what I'm saying? Hi, Carla. <laughs> um, it's this um, patina, this like metal patina paint that I got today at Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's cool. I love how these colors work together. That is so rad. Need a little bit more of the screen. They're actually drying pretty much exactly how they're applied. Like how they look when, when I apply it, really. Um, and I'm being real um, conservative with the paint. You know what I mean? Okay. Go back and maybe buff some of it back. Oh yeah, that that actually works. Um, just with the baby wipe, just kind of buff it back so it's like actually exposing the metal again. Yeah, I mean this might not be the best piece to do this on, but but yeah, so that actually does look kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, the it, it seems like the... See, I'm having a hard time seeing in here, guys, because I've got this light situation because of this stupid... Okay, I'm just... No, I want to use this. Um, let me see. I want to try just doing a little bit of that green all over this whole thing and then just kind of so I did that black on there but okay it dries really fast yeah it I go through quite bright yeah, I like it when it's, I like it kind of buffed, buffed back too. Um, they do dry really fast. Whoops. So yeah, I was thinking these would be kind of cool to just do like a bunch of, um, paper clips, <laughs> paper clips and, um, uh, add some water, you think? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is just one color set. So there's three color sets that, you know, supposedly they work together, you know. So I think I should try to keep those sort of together. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and what's that other one? This green. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, to slow the drying process. Okay, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, but you know it's weird. It's like you you almost like want it to dry fast, and then you and then you don't. I don't know.
so this piece has um, a lot of Oh, you sold three journals right on. You just sold three of your journals. I know. It's not feel good. That feels so good when, when, you know, somebody just says, yeah, I love your work. You know, I love that. It's just that's awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. I got to find another rag. Just a second. I want to find a dry rag. I'm just kind of playing with this stuff, guys. You know, I like doing that. Just playing around. I mean, it was half price, so. Ooh, I like what that does. With the dry rag. Oh, that looks cool. Hang on. Kind of like. What it's doing is it's sort of shining those those raised parts. See? <laughs> it's just painting it. It's just painting it, Terry. It's these um these patinas. This is actually I thought it said that it was a Ranger. Yeah, this is actually a Ranger product. Um, made by Ranger for vintage, sold at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, I'm just painting it. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. I like it. I'm going to add... So let me buff. Hang on a second. Yeah, I don't know. It's neat. I want to try the other color sets too. So this little guy, you guys see it? Can you see that very well? Yeah, everything is definitely made by Ranger. I know. They got their hands in everybody's pie. Okay. You guys can see the color better now, I bet. There we go. Huh. Okay. Let me... That stuff's going to be hard to get off of here. I'll have to use rubbing alcohol probably to get that off real quick. All right. So let's try this other set. And I'm sorry. I should have kept those. I should have kept those separate. Um... So I could tell you like which set is what, you know what I mean? Me too, Josie. Honestly, I didn't think I could do it, <laughs> but, um, it, so I have this sealer too and, um, oh, oh, you know, what would be kind of neat. I bet is to maybe use one of these metal this white gold or the rose gold and just kind of add some like highlights on here using one of these. You know what I mean? I'll try that. Yeah, I'll try that here in just in just a few minutes. Let's see what this set will accomplish. 
Yeah, it's definitely, um, like, well, it's not completely coming off my brush, um, in the water, but yeah, pretty much. So it does clean up with water, so that's good. So let's find another something different shape. Oh, wait a second. I know, I know. Should we do a butterfly? Or let's see, let's do a leaf. And then I've got these these roses. Um and then I have this weird little shape. And these feathers. So this is this stuff is supposed to work on any metal. And you know, it looks like it's working on this. You know, this is just brass. But um yeah, let's do let's do this leaf. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. It's actually really fun. Um, oh boy. And it's weird because you put this on and it seems so extreme, right? Like, I mean, that's, that's pretty intense. I'm going to do this one at the same time. So I'm not like coating the whole thing. I'm not just like painting the whole thing that color, you know, I'm thinking, um, you know, I'll kind of almost to create like, uh, uh, some depth, like some shading sort of. And I mean, if you look at something that's patinaed, like it, it definitely, um, has, it's going to have a lot of variation, right? Something that in nature has, has weathered or whatever and developed that patina. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oops. That just completely took it off. Okay, I gotta let it dry. not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm having a hard time with the leaf, but this little guy isn't too crazy. I like that. It's so pretty. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. That's like crazy how fast that stuff dries on the metal. Need some more. I'm going to let it dry for a second. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I might keep doing this until Friday. <laughs> well, I have quite a few things that, I mean, you know, metal pieces that um, I think it'd be really fun to, to keep working on. And I do want to do some of the, um, I want to do some of the safety pins. Um, I did some one time with, um, just like black alcohol ink, you know? All right. Oh no, I think it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. I just think it's amazing how they like, I don't know, put together this set. So look at the, here's the, okay, I like this piece better than that piece. But, um, see the difference? Yeah, heat set them for durability. Thank you, Rosemary. I got your leaves today. Thank you. Wasn't that crazy how fast those came? I can't believe that. <clears throat> that did, when did you send those leaves, Rosemary? Didn't you just send them yesterday? <clears throat> I'm just saying, that seemed pretty quick. All right. Oh, let's, I wanted to try, let's try this. I know. Oh, you sent them on Monday. Okay. I guess it was Sunday that we talked about that. Yeah, and today's... Is it still Wednesday? It's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got them today. So this is uh, um, white gold. Just going to tap a little bit of this on here. I'm going to let that dry. I know, that's crazy, huh? <laughs> I know. Well, you know what? If you're going to buy them, go get them today because they're half price today. Uh, I think their sales end on Thursdays. But they'll have them on sale again. They'll do them. They'll do them half price again. They always do. Whenever you see all the vintage stuff or the vintage or whatever the hell they say, however the hell you say it, uh, whenever you see that stuff half price, that means that these inks are half price too. I'll get that off of there. I will. Yeah, let's do the butterfly with this next um, set. Okay. So my thinking is that you kind of start out with your deeper color, right? I almost want to, I almost want to do black on there, um, on the butterfly. Before I put any of these on there, I don't know. Ooh, this one's really thick. This one is like more like a paint paint. I got them at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Half price. <laughs> um, no, I had the glass mat. I actually, um, the glass mat... Uh, came in the mail. I actually ordered it a couple months ago. And um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do this black. I'm 
I'm going to put some of this black on the rose. And then, um, yeah. And maybe just like here in the center on the butterfly. I love this one. You know what I mean? I love this one. You know, Cheryl, uh, well, no, I don't, th uh, Cheryl, I think if you go onto the Hobby Lobby website, you can order them online. Try it. You might be able to. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to leave them all matte finished. I think they would look more natural if I left them with kind of a matte finish, honestly. Okay, this, like, pink is weird. Yeah, try and see. I'm curious to know if you can because that would be cool. Because that's their sale, you know. I mean, that's what's, that's what's going on in their sale. So, I think that this blue should be more towards the end of our process here on these. For some reason. I don't know why, but... Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Hmm. And then... I'm going to buff it a little bit. Yeah, see, and the blue is already drying. Yeah, so don't put all your colors out. <laughs> um, if you're going to try this, don't, don't put all your colors out at one time because I'm losing a lot of it because it's drying up on the glass. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Okay. I don't know. No, it's not the rose gold. It's it's this set. So the colors in this set are turquoise, coral, and sandstone. And then <clears throat> the rose gold actually, or the white gold and the rose gold came as a set by themselves. Um, which I'm going to try on something. But, um... Yeah, so those came separate. No, I haven't put any of that on either of these yet. So what I want to do is I want to get a little bit more of this blue in there. Yeah, this type of brush definitely works pretty well, I think. I, I like the way it's looking. I almost want to add some of that light blue on this, but 
I don't know. Try the rose gold over this combo. Okay. Yeah, I haven't tried the rose gold yet, huh? Okay. So just want to make sure I keep these sets like together, you know? Okay, so those three, those three. So far, I like this set the best, I think. That first set that, that we did. I don't know. I kind of like that one the best. Um, okay, so I get this one. I get the look of this one now. It's weird, like when you're when you're applying this paint, you're kind of like, what? Like, what is this supposed to even look like? You know what I mean? And then if you think about it. Like, think about old metal stuff that you see. It's like you do see those colors together when, you know, it's old and, you know, weather beaten and all that. You do see those colors in it. Okay. So yeah, see, see how it's getting that kind of really decrepit kind of look about it now. Yeah, reminds exactly like old metal in somebody's garage, you know, for sure. <laughs> I know, Brooke, I'm the boss of them for sure. I'm the boss, but there's a reason that they put those colors together. And so I just want to. Um, you know, until I get to know them and how they work together, I want to make sure that I keep them separate because I, I know that there's a reason that they put those colors together that way. But yeah, I want to try some of that rose gold on there. They're all just going to go in a drawer, you know, with all the other crap that I buy and never use. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's almost like <laughs> I really like the blue in this. You like this combo better? Yeah, it's pretty. It's definitely pretty. Can you see it okay? Yeah, I like it too. It's different. That's what it looked like before, after, <laughs> before, after. Yeah, I mean, I use stuff too. Um, my thing is that I don't, uh, okay, so here, let's do this. Let's do this feather with just the two golds, um, with the white gold and the rose gold together and see what happens. <laughs> okay. Rose gold. Ooh, should I do black under it first? Ugh. I want to do black under it first. Do that leaf too. Or what else is in here? What's that butterfly? So you guys, this uh all of these um filigree shapes. Well, it was a couple different 
uh, orders, but um, the butterflies all came in the same order, but like all of this stuff right here, all of these, seriously, like I think there was like a hundred pieces uh, on Amazon um, was like $9.99 or something like that, you know, so. Yeah, 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 I know. I'll clean it up. It'll get cleaned up. Don't worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Oh, he, you mean so that I can have the paper? <laughs> yeah. You know how many drop papers I have? You're right, though. You are absolutely right. I should be doing it with the drop paper. Okay, I'm not going to put any black on the butterfly. I thought you meant because it, then I, uh, yeah, so I can keep the paper. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done, I mean, I did some, like, painting, I guess, when... I got those, um, color bursts, um, from, uh, from the magazine thing, you know, I got all those color burst powders, but I think that's the last time that I've even played with any kind of paint. Is that dry? No. Okay. So let's put this gold or this rose gold on here. Hmm. Weird. Or wait, was that the white gold? No, that was the rose gold. Okay, this is the white gold. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Definitely um sticks to metal. You know what I'm saying? Like it uh doesn't have any problems sticking to metal, that's for sure. A little more rose gold. I like what happens with these, um, the rose gold and the white gold with the black behind it. I'm going to try to buff this back just a little bit on this butterfly. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of sticky when it's wet a little bit it's like really sticky oh that looks cool that actually does look kind of cool hang on the veins in the leaf are just popping out you know I know I don't even like rose gold either. <laughs> Look at that though. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. See, that's what it was. Now that's what it looks like.
Yeah, I thought about that, like really super fine sandpaper. Huh. Interesting. It's so interesting to me, you know? Um... I want to try, wait, I want to try a little bit of this topaz color on one of these. Poor Momo, are you starving? My poor dog. A little bit of the black over top of that metal. See what happens. Hmm. Okay, I want to let that dry. I know it's it sets my teeth on edge too. I can't stand it. You know what is really horrible though is the sound of the rusted paper clips like rubbing together. <laughs> it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Uh it's like needle, like, like nails on a chalkboard. I love the rusted paper clips, but can you guys just feel what that feels like? Ugh, just, yeah. I love those little boxes. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's terrible, Brooke. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know. But I really like this leaf. I really, really like that leaf. Um, okay, I don't know what to do with this butterfly. But, yes I do. I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, now I can use them. Um, yeah, everything I do, I always think, can I use that on a journal cover? That's like all I think about. That's all I think about. Okay, so I'm doing... I'm doing the the first set on this butterfly. Yeah, I don't know if I like this this feather either. I don't know. It's different because it's silver, you know. Like the base metal color is silver, so it's a little bit different. I don't know. It's super fun really fun it I mean it completely transforms this stuff you know um, completely transforms it <clears throat> so yeah I like they're totally different Yeah, pretty even. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, I just want to dry that a tiny bit. Where's my heat gun? Oh, here it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, I was just reading your comment about it smelling bad, Brooke. Um, <clears throat> it just smells like vinegar. I mean, yeah, I guess it smells bad if you hate vinegar. If you don't like vinegar. That looks cool just like that. <laughs> now, now, girls. Now, now. This is still my favorite. So let's see what this um, gloss uh, glaze stuff is going to do. Yeah. It's probably just like triple thick. Just saying. Oh, I don't know. I've, I've been resting a lot of stuff lately. I don't, I don't smell any metal. All I smell is vinegar. <clears throat> so I was doing that. I was dyeing that fabric the other day and <laughs> my son came home from work and I was in the other room doing the dishes and um, he was like, what is that smell? You know, because I've got vinegar and um, all kinds of leaves from the yard, like all the different weird plants and stuff just boiling away in the kitchen. And I know it's hard to explain why I was in the other room doing the dishes, but I don't have a sink in this room, so I do my dishes in the laundry room. That's why. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh... Yeah, so he just was, like, so grossed out by the smell. <sighs> From the eco-dye stuff. So if you want to buff it back, okay, like, <clears throat> I just learned something. So if you want to buff it down and um, it's not going, it's not coming, it's not buffing off, add a little bit more paint to it and then do it while that paint is wet and that wet paint will pull off the paint that's underneath it. You know what I'm saying? I know. <laughs> um, I know, huh, Carla? <laughs> It, it, yeah, it, it was pretty funny. And um, so now that pot is still sitting there on the this little like side table thing that's kind of by the stove. It's in a big canning kettle. And because um, I just haven't like wanted to deal with it yet. And um, he keeps walking by it going, God, that's disgusting. It's super funny. Okay. So I want to, whoa. I bet this stuff is just like triple thick. How much you want to bet? And it's made by Ranger. Okay, so let's coat some of these. This is almost just like an enamel. Almost just looks like enameling on here. Supposedly, this stuff makes it more durable, too. But it does make it, like, uh... <laughs> yeah, it does smell. A little cobalt and gold. Okay. I will try that. I'm going to play around with this stuff. You know, I'm just using um, the sets, like the, the kind of, like, trios or whatever that they give you together. Um, 
I did mix it up a tiny bit on this one, but anyway. So that's my my stuff for the day, guys. Um, yeah, so I'm going up to Bonaparte Lake Resort in case anybody wants to come and, you know, murder me. Um, that's where I'll be this weekend. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just said that. Um, <laughs> the coating is the, it's this stuff that came with, um, where this products are are displayed it's a glaze it just says glaze gloss uh it's a gloss glaze that's hard to say metal sealer and patina extender oh patina extender huh hold on dispense glaze and a so this is to use as an extender dispense glaze and a small amount of vintage patina onto a non-stick craft sheet and mix Apply to the surface of piece using a paintbrush. Drying time will range from five to ten minutes. Um, vintage glaze is specially formulated to seal vintage patinas to metal and to prevent oxidation. Mix with patinas to extend drying time and create glue-like effects dries to a durable gloss finish. Okay, so yeah, so you could use this stuff um, so that your uh, patinas don't dry out so quick. Oh, that would be super fun. I, you know what? I keep thinking, what am I going to take with me? Um, what should I take to do while I'm, you know, hanging out? At, so these little cabins are so cute. They all have like a big front porch or a little front porch and, you know, and they all just look out on the lake and it's one of those like, um, you know, high mountain, like Alpine lakes, you know, and the mountains are just like straight vertical on all sides of this, of this little lake. And, um, so I don't know. I'm thinking, yeah, would that be funny? Uh, yeah, bring my... <laughs> you can send your fussy cutting pile. I'd be more than happy to fussy cut it for you. That's what I was thinking I would do. Is just, um, you know... Yeah, s'mores and champagne. Um, yeah, for me it would be s'mores and... Um, ginger ale. <laughs> okay, for sure, Josie. I will, um, I will definitely take pictures. Last time I was there, um, I got up super early. My ex-boyfriend and I went and it's funny. I told you guys I got the same cabin that he and I had, like, that's the same cabin we're going to stay in this weekend. But, um, so I'm leaving on Friday, but on Friday morning, um, <laughs> anyways, last time I was there, I remember I woke up at like, I don't know, like the crack of dawn because the sun was just coming up and I had, I sit outside with my coffee and I was watching this, this duck, like, um, you know, diving and just th you know, how long he would be underwater was crazy. And like, um, it was insane how far, like I, it was, yeah, I never knew where he was going to come up. And the, the lake was just like crystal clear. Like it was just smooth as glass. And the only thing, the only movement on the entire lake was this duck just like dunking under. And then it was so funny, like how far away he would pop back up anyways. But I sat there and watched that duck for pr probably a half an hour anyways. But you know, being in that kind of environment like that, um, it helps you appreciate those kinds of things. You know what I mean? Like just, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget watching that duck and, you know, just kind of helps you forget about all of the other crap that happens every day, you know, um, only until Monday, Brooke. Um, so just like three nights. So
So, but I'm going to try to get up there, um, as early as I can on Friday. So I'm taking all the kids and my grandkids are coming and so it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys think of these things? Did you like it? I mean, I know I'm not like a professional or anything, but, um, you know, so there's $12.99 for, for one of those sets. And, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I like the glaze or not. Um, I would have to, <clears throat> I think I want to have to try it with and without. And, uh, I'm, I definitely want to try using that glaze as an extender, um, to kind of help me conserve some of my, my paint, you know? So let me pull out another one of those so we can see it. So you can kind of see what they look like. I don't know if that leaf, if that leaf is all that different, but there. <laughs> definitely fun. Oh, I forgot about this shape. Look at, it's like a Phoenix. I'll do one of these and see what happens. So yeah, it definitely takes away the vintage look. That's for sure. Um, I like it more like this. I like this better where it's just more, more of just the patina. It's a really cool product though. I think it's, I think it's neat. So, all right, you guys. Yeah, it was pretty fun, huh, Brooke? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to go to bed early tonight. I'm not going to necessarily go to sleep, but I'm definitely going to get some fussy cutting done. Um, check this out, you guys. Hang on a second. Before I go, I just want to show you. So I was working on these tags last night, right? Wasn't I? Wasn't I working on tags? So look. <laughs> um, yeah, I was because I remember I was doing Remember how I was doing those those things on the edges? you know, um, those strips. So this is kind of how those are turning out. And I really, really like it. I think it looks really cool. See that? That botanical kind of thing on this, you know, right down the center almost. I know I have 500 buttons to make. <laughs> oh crap. I know I'm going to make some buttons. I am going to make some buttons, but yeah, so I'm loving these tags too. Um, yeah, pretty fun. I might just, you know what I might do is just put together some tag packs and just, there's no way I could use all of these tags, you guys. No freaking way. I mean, this is my box of, this is my box of tags. Okay. Just that kind of style. So Maybe I'll just put together a bunch of packs of tags and and sew them on on Etsy. But because I love making them, Carla, you love making uh, tags too. You, Carla loves making embellishments as much as I do. And um, by the way, if any of you guys have not subscribed to um, Carla's channel, make sure and do that because she has been producing some pretty awesome work lately, and I don't want you guys to miss out on it honestly, like she has some really cool, um, like, um, embellishment tag packs in her shop right now that are geared towards, um, like little boys. And then I think she still has a little girl one too. So yeah, so definitely, um, go and go and subscribe to Carla's channel if you haven't already. Um, 
and show some support there if you don't mind. Um, and I think you, what? <laughs> yeah, I keep weird hours too. So yeah, we, if a juggler goes to church, he would have holy balls, right? Yes, for sure. For sure. For shizzle. For shizzle, my nizzle. Um, oh, I was going to tell a horrible joke. I can't do it. It's bad. It's a bad joke. But what do you call um, a camel with three humps? I tried to get her to stay up, but she wouldn't. What do you call a camel with three humps? <laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? <laughs> Last joke. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? No. No. <laughs> no. A stick. <laughs> My five-year-old grandson told me that joke, you guys. <laughs> it's a stick. Anyways. <clears throat> I'll think of some better jokes for you guys next week. <laughs> Chocolate poop, I know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm going to bed. I love you guys. Stay out of trouble. And I'll see you on, uh, maybe I'll stream on Tuesday or something, but I don't know. Um, but for sure on um, Wednesday. Okay? All right. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. Really, really do. And go get your kit if you don't have your kit yet so I can ship it out tomorrow so you have it before the 26th. I'm just saying, get it done. If you're going to, if you want the kit, you know, for the popcorn journals, order it today if you can or send me a message or something because I don't know. I just want you guys to have it before then. So anyways, I'm not going to say anything else about it, but I love you. Take care. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>